The European Council topped President José Manuel Barroso's agenda this week. On Monday, the President of the European Commission went to the European Parliament to launch the Single Market Week, reflecting on 20 years of the single market in Europe and future challenges. In front of citizens, businesses and politicians, he recalled the many freedoms and opportunities enjoyed by European citizens since 1992 to live, travel, work and study in an area without borders. He called for the urgent approval of the proposals that the Commission has put on the table for the further deepening of the single market, pointing out that it is the cornerstone of European integration and sustainable growth. On Tuesday, President Barroso participated in the EU Development Days event, where he met with several leaders from developing countries. In his opening address, which came a few days after the European Union won the Nobel Peace Prize, he spoke about Europe's commitment to development, underlining that despite the crisis, the EU and its member states remain the most generous donors of development aid in the world. He advocated for even greater EU support for development in the 2014-2020 multi-annual budget and stressed that he would continue to make the case for this, especially in difficult times. The President reiterated the European Union's firm commitment to continue work on the Sustainable Development Goals and to follow up the Rio Plus 20 conclusions. He elaborated on the three themes of the 2012 European Development Days, EDD, food security, protection of the most vulnerable in society, and ensuring a vital partnership with the private sector, underlining that all are essential elements in promoting inclusive and sustainable growth. On Wednesday, the President travelled to Bucharest for talks with the Romanian Prime Minister, Victor Ponta, in the sidelines of the European People Party's Congress. The two leaders mainly discussed Romania's justice system and how European funds can best be used in the country. He insisted in particular that the new general prosecutor and the head of the anti-corruption directorate are appointed in an objective and independent manner. President Barroso also urged the Prime Minister to take immediate action on the management and control of EU funds to solve the issues that led to the interruption of payments for certain EU programs. Unless urgent action is taken, the absorption of EU funds will be seriously compromised, he said. On Thursday, a few hours before the start of the European Council, President Barroso, together with the President of the European Council, Herman van Rompuy, and the Cypriot Presidency met at the tripartite social summit with European workers and employers' representatives. The summit focused on the social partners' key role in EU governance and their important contribution to restoring jobs and growth. Okay. President Barroso empathized with those hardest hit by the crisis and urged the European Council to accelerate growth-enhancing measures under the Growth and Jobs Compact. He addressed a message to those in Europe that are hardest hit by the crisis. We are perfectly aware of the very difficult situation in which many of our fellow citizens face themselves. And I want to say to all those who are experiencing hardship from the current crisis that the European Commission is making every effort, together with our member states and social partners, to move Europe back on the path to growth and jobs. We are working to provide them with hope and perspective. The Europe that has been awarded and deserved the Nobel Peace Prize must tackle the social consequences of this crisis with ambition and determination. The President then joined European leaders for a two-day summit to discuss three main priorities. The establishment of a single banking supervisor, steps towards further integration in the euro area, and the implementation of the Compact for Growth and Jobs, originally agreed in June. In the early hours, the European Council confirmed the intention to agree a legislative framework for the Single Supervisory Mechanism, SSM, by the 1st of January 2013. 
This is the first and most advanced building block for the future Deeper Economic and Monetary Union, EMU, with further steps to be outlined in December, pending the final report on EMU by President Barroso and the Presidents of the European Council, Eurogroup and the European Central Bank. President Barroso noted that the Commission will present its own blueprint on EMU before the December European Council. The next day, the President insisted that the Compact for Growth and Jobs take shape in reality and not remain an idea on paper. He urged Member States to reach agreement swiftly on the Commission's proposals on savings and energy taxation, public procurement reform and venture capital, amongst other things. He stressed that the financial sector must also make a fair contribution to the recovery and announced that the Commission would soon begin the legal work to launch a financial transaction tax under enhanced cooperation, part of the drive to ensure a fair distribution of the burden during the crisis. We are asking our citizens to make major sacrifices. We need to provide them with hope, with a realistic prospect that growth will return and that the most vulnerable in society will not suffer. We have a growth compact on paper, now we need to have it in the ground. We need to have it on reality. The reality is that this growth compact, an important investment package worth 120 billion euros, has not yet been fully uh, implemented. The European Council also discussed foreign policy, including the EU's strategic partnership with China, the ongoing violation of human rights in Syria, support for Mali, and restrictive measures against Iran.